Show me potato salad. <laughs> Show me potato salad. Show me. Okay. Okay. Do it. Come on. Do it. What are you waiting for? Welcome. Welcome, Dicky Diners. Ooh. Today we are doing a, a bunch of mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, today we are looking at your wackiest, your wildest, your f fucking most memorable warp tour stories. Zany. Wow. Zilchi. In honor zunky. of the absolute death of warp tour. Thanks a lot from Port Step. Wow. We're gonna look at your best stories. So let's see uh, what you wacky folks have witnessed at the Warp Tours. Okay. Tanner Chase says, during the August Burns Red set at Warp Tour 2015 in New Jersey, the mosh pit turned into a dance pit because their vocalist yelled, all of you fucking dance. And all the couples started a ballroom dancing in the mosh pit, including me and my girlfriend. Oh, I thought August Burns Red was a, a, a Christian band. Uh, no, no, they have, they kind of did that like As We Lay Dying thing where they just slowly were like, <laughs> oh, <you're> right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yeah, just casually like started saying fuck more and more and doing preaching less and less. And they're just like, what are you talking about? We've never been Christian. We're not a Christian band. BJ Sism says, I remember a few years after high school, my band won a Battle of the Bands type of thing. So we got to play at the local Vans Warp Tour near our town. While on stage, a guy from the audience threw a box of condoms on stage, telling us to fuck ourselves. I don't know what his problem was, but everyone else seemed to enjoy us. All right, first of all, my thought was thank you for the condoms. That means you can save some money. True. You don't got to go and buy them. Let me just not be a fucking pussy and just don't even use condoms, bro, dude. If you're, fuck if you're fucking enough snatch, STDs can't even catch you. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's almost like Pokemon sometimes. You got to catch them all. Dude, you if, you, if you catch them all, you just get a serum. You just become immune. <laughs> right. If you get them all, you... Uh... It's like when your parents like force you to hang out with the sick kids so you get chicken pox early. It's like that. I don't know if my parents ever did that. Your parents didn't fucking love you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, PJ. Uh, Ryan Brigham says, girl died during Chelsea Grin's set in Toronto back in 2012. That was pretty wild. Well, it's so casual. There's no contact. What happened? Yeah, girl died, Chelsea Grin, I don't even remember. back in Nam. I don't remember ever hearing about that. I don't remember hearing about that either. Did that happen? Or are you just like being dramatic like she just got like rocked? Right, it's just, just like, dude, this girl fucking died, The, the dude. way it was addressed is like, um, can't really think of much. Oh, this, this girl died in 2012. He it might as well have put the emoji that's like... <laughs> yeah, for real, it was just like, I don't know. That was pretty she wild. Died. I don't know. It's crazy. I don't want to research that and see if that actually happened. Max Simkowski says it was raining so hard someone got struck by lightning and someone had all of their merch stolen from their someone tent. Struck by lightning. I don't remember hearing about that. Yeah, I feel like if somebody got struck by lightning at Warp Tour, that would be all over like every lamb goat metal injection. Maybe they didn't maybe it was bad press for Warp Tour, so they just kept it local local newspaper. And someone had all their merch stolen from their tent. I I I'd like to believe that it was the merch guy that got zapped, and everyone's like, oh shit, go grab all the merch. merch! He's on fire! He's like, yeah, right, just like, like, we're just moving it away from the fire! <laughs> I swear it's stuffing in their back. The funniest part is like some pit king who goes out there, and he's like, let's go! He's just trying to I'd be terrified of that guy. Like, oh my god, that's Dude. Thor. Right, for he real. He just commanded lightning. Uh, Jose Flores, this year's Warp Tour in... Pomona, I was watching Census Fail on a guy crowd surfing. I helped push him, but my thumb slipped in his butt. What was he wearing? Was he basketball shorts. Just still. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, maybe he's just a wrestler and it's just instinct. His finger just slid right up his asshole. I, I think you might have forcefully. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe I can't stop. It's coming right for me. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh fuck! Uh, <laughs> through like fabric, through I clothes, hope, butt cheek. Yeah, like. I hope that in, like in one of these comments, someone says, "Yes, yeah, don't put their thumb in my ass." <laughs> that was wild. Was like, oh. <laughs> Tucker McClintock says some crackhead had a dead raccoon and was hitting people with it. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, imagine. Out of the pit, just like, ah! Can you imagine? That's like. Those things are sharp, too. That's foul, dude. <laughs> Those raccoons. Like, how dead was it? Like, was it recently dead? Or, right. like, it had been fermenting a bit? That, dude, what Can, the imagine fuck? Imagine getting hit with a dead raccoon and it's, like, just gross innards. Like, you're just popping everywhere. No, what? it'd be more like its teeth and claws, like, slashing <laughs> just whipping you. whipping you like a bullwhip. It's like a medieval torture weapon. Did anyone stop him? Or is just like, that's just... I would just, hope so. Whatever. 
I, I, all right. Justin at Lubers, I saw some mother of the year bring her infant into a wall of death. Not a child, not a toddler, an infant. Well, that's uh, smart. It's a great way to get your uh, I mean, kid the yeah. brain shakes. I mean, realistically, a baby's just like a like a one up kind of. It's like take it'll take a hit for you, and you're like you're good. You're one one free hit. <laughs> cut it's from like the baby your mushroom. Armor. Yeah, exactly. it's your Mario mushroom. It's like you, if you get hit, you shrink a little. Yeah, the baby is that. Fuck yeah! Don't I don't know. I, I would hope that people would see it and be like, whoa, right. hey, maybe, whoa. Maybe she was just trying to casually, like, Casey Anthony it. Like, it wasn't even my fault. Like, I got sucked into this right. mosh pit. I don't want this She was this like, kid. hey, you, like, fuck, come on, kill see, me. Get, get rid of my Crush kid my for baby. me. Crush my baby. Did you see that uh, video of the guy eating cereal in a, in a <laughs> yeah, that was pretty mosh funny. pit? That was pretty good. Yeah. It's not an infant, but, but it, yeah, I but thought it was, it was funny. It was pretty He's just like, oh, <laughs> stop. Stop. Was like, <laughs> The fucking entire ground is covered in milk with him. Caroline Marie, happened yesterday during the Motionless and White show in Mountain View, someone set off a police riot flare in the middle of the pit. The crowd still went bananas. Three walls of death and a great circle pit. Great way to end warped. A fucking riot flame. Okay. That sounds pretty intense. It sounds okay. all like somebody for sure inhaled that and yeah, just kept moshing. Definitely. Like <laughs> sulfur in their lungs. Oh, God. Something. Yeah, but fucking creatures is my life. Three walls of death for Motionless? Really pushing it, aren't they? <laughs> I don't. Like how I mean, far can we get this crowd to go? <laughs> you're right. Let's uh, set up a flare. I want and you to kill start, an start a wall of death, and then you guys, you split it this way, and then you, we'll split it this way. We'll get like a six squares right. all running into each other. That would look sick. It would be tight. That would be sick if you could pull it off. I'm sure you could. I don't think Americans could pull it off. I think the, I think the could. Japanese could pull it off. I think I think anywhere but America could pull yeah, it no, off. Th- th- you can't trust a group of anything in America to yeah. to listen to rules. Yeah, it will what? not happen. Oh, hey, clap your hands. Just stop. What's the stop tempo? It. Yeah, dude, what that, is that's it? the worst. Yeah. It's, okay, follow follow me. Wait. <laughs> what? Read. I don't know. <laughs> what time is the show? <laughs> 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 Hey, he shares a band flyer. Where, where is it? Where's the show at? <laughs> All right, Matt Hollywood Undead Benton. This is going to be good. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Saw a guy shit in a cup, added water to it, and threw a lid on it, and then sold it to some kid. The kid threw up immediately and passed out. Go Dallas Warp Tour. Woo. Why would you buy? Why would you buy like, a drink I'm... off a guy? And, it, like, it, there's a lid on it. You can't fucking be like... Right. What the fuck is this? Yeah, There's no, like, you here. can't see the brown shit under the lid? Or was it just, like, a little tiny poo in, like, a Mountain Dew or something? It's like, Mountain Poo. <laughs> it's just, like, a little tiny Gross. guy. A little cat turd in there. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Fuck way. that guy. Ugh. That's some, that's some gross, gross shit. You're gross. Grace Briggs Neal, the lead singer of Sleeping With Sirens, was talking about how he was hungry, so as a result, a fucking tidal wave of food was thrown on the stage from the audience, and the band had to ask them to stop. So you can't trust you can't trust okay. these kids. Hey, yeah, like, like you, oh, I, you sure ask, you say anything, and they're just gonna be like, "Oh, he obviously wants hot dogs right. on his face." Oh, Throw up, right? Waste a bunch of food in front of him. He's hungry. Right. I mean, it's 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 a silly meme, but it's, yeah. he kind of asked. A funny he, scenario. He kind of asked for it. Exactly. He basically just monkey pawed himself. Or yeah. he, just, he wasn't careful about what he wished for. Uh, Kevin Clark was at the Mountain View show yesterday, and during wasn't that the last one? That someone just said, Mountain View show? Was it? I think so. It was at the Mountain View show yesterday and during Wage Wars set his, or uh, this short, shriveled old guy pushes his way past us towards the pit and waited for the breakdown of witness to jump in there. I turned to watch the band and when I began watching the pit again, I couldn't find him. Pretty sure that's how he wanted to go out. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> that's pretty funny, actually. Right. It's just like, the short, shriveled guy. My favorite guy. breakdown. Favorite breakdown ever. I'm just like... Puts on his old army outfit and walks into the pit. <laughs> right, fucking murder. He's just like he's like the wall of death splits. He's right in the middle, just like <laughs> saluting. <laughs> An American flag coming out of his bag. It just, he's like squishes. A bunch of dust. <laughs> just, yeah. He completed his mission. Yeah, just turns into confetti. achievement unlocked. That's fucking funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's wild. I love seeing like. Like, people you don't expect to be into the kind of music, or right. even that watch this show. These people that we met on tour even was yeah. like, you watch our show? For real, it's so Like, cool. really? It's super cool to see that. It's so interesting. The amount of, like, mothers and their sons that watch the show yeah. is fucking awesome. Right. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like, yeah, or, or the sons, they'll get their moms into it. Exactly, the moms will be yeah. like, what are you watching? Like, oh, this is funny. Mm-hmm. Like, you know. It's just awesome. Joey uh, Bowen says, there was a guy wearing nothing but an American flag banana hammock. 
Uh, for those of you who don't know, the banana hammock is the thing that just covers your cock. Mm -hmm. And then there's like two straps yeah. that kind of go up your shoulders. It's very revealing. Uh, he was hanging out by the porta potties and I jokingly uh, started walking towards him yelling, Dad, is that you? He seemed genuinely worried and was like, Bro, I don't know you, man. Get the fuck out of here. Did I meet my real dad? <laughs> it would I, be yeah. even funnier if you were wearing a banana hammock. He's, he's like, like Dad! Oh, yeah. Dad, it's Dad. He's like, Get the fuck away from me! Yeah. Being able to weird out a guy that's willing to show up in a banana hammock. I was about is to like, say that. That dude must have been his dad. Because, like, like, why? How would that dude get weirded out by that? He yeah. should have just been like, Oh, it's me. Oh, you're your dad. But I know. Like, oh, fuck. You're literally uh -huh. wearing a banana hammock at Warp Tour and you get weirded out by a guy that's like, Dad? You're like, uh oh. He must have been tripping on like right. some acid or something. Just be like, a lizard is walking towards me. Yeah, like, get, what yo, the what fuck? the fuck, bro? I don't have any snacks. What yeah, do you want exactly. From me? Ooh, this is a long one. Roddy Hall watched a kid get rocked in a wall of death during Beam of the Horizon in 2010. And when I mean rocked, dude that hit him swung like kid dishonored his family or some shit. There had to have been some personal shit behind it. The kid got rocked. If you haven't tuned in yet, he got rocked. Rock. Like he looked like the anime character that gets jacked by the incredibly OP villain and goes flying. Like spit out of his mouth and his eyes went white. Not rolled in the back of his head. Fucking faded white Dragon Ball Z style. <laughs> kid flew back so hard he knocked down several people behind him and the pit descended into utter chaos. It had rained the entire warp tour like start to finish, so we were standing in puddles and I was so scared that someone was gonna fall and not be able to get up and fucking drown. Oh, and early in the day the vocalist for closure in Moscow quite literally whipped his little pee pee out for the entire crowd to see. Crazy shit, but a good time. Definitely going to miss it. Just tiny pee. -pee. Closure in Moscow. I've never heard that band before. They're they're older. He quite literally quite whipped literally. out his little Lil. pee pee. Lil Yo, pee -pee. What it is, it's your boy little pee pee. <laughs> Must have been very intoxicated. But, dude, can we talk about how bad that kid got fucking <laughs> rocked, yeah, dude? Really emphasized he got fucking that. rocked. Really drove it home. I've seen that happen once at a Seattle show. Just like somebody get hit so hard, dude. you're like, he might be dead. So there was, two, it was actually two. Um, you know, uh, our, what's his name? Tyler? I don't want to say his last name, but he used to be in Showtime. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know him. Okay. Yeah. So he was swinging his hand back, uh -huh. and he clocked um, Vince's friend Adam, the Marine guy, the Oh, yeah, okay. The yeah, big yeah, yeah. fucker. And he hit him so hard. I mean, music's playing. You hear, like, like his fist. Uh. And he was just like, and he just kind of, like, went like this and, like, looked at his eye. And he, he was, like, not even a face. But, they, like, yeah. they kept moshing and shit. And I don't know if he intentionally, I'm not going to say he intentionally did this. Right. But he fucking uh, donkey kicked oh. that Tyler kid, like, back. Uh -huh. It looked like he did it on purpose, but I'm not going to say he did. And he, br like, he cracked, like, two yeah. of his ribs or some shit. Yeah. And he fucking hit the fucking floor yeah. when he got I, kicked. He was like, <laughs> it was bad. That's freaking rough. But, yeah, that, that sound was, like, the loudest thud Here's slap like, I had ever heard from somebody fisting a guy <laughs> in the face. <laughs> that's like That's hilarious. All right. Uh, Emilio Papish. <laughs> I was watching Bless the Fall. Of course, they were not playing anything from the album to those left behind. Biggest failure. And during their set, a bunch of inflatable cows started rushing the stage. No one knew where they came from or who put them there. Later, the lead <laughs> singer was thrown back and said, so did anyone see where all those cows came from? Probably my most favorite moment. That's pretty funny. That's a good... It's like, who, who's fuck? Where are all these cows <laughs> You're from? right. There's like memeing the band. Right. It was probably like a band-to-band -band joke. Like, oh, right. hey, we should totally prank these guys and put a bunch of cows Put a bunch of inflatable cows on the stage. Better than hot dogs. Maybe there was just an inflatable farm nearby. That's true. <laughs> escape from it. <laughs> That's their promotion. Like, right. hey, check out our cows. Amanda Kenberg, 2015 Attila set. He was talking to the crowd when some dude threw a Nokia track phone up on stage and phone goes, dude, what the fuck is this? A Nokia phone? Whoa, well, I don't know. I don't want that shit, man. And chucked it back into the crowd. Not so crazy, but funny as fuck. Also, I see a lot of these stories mentioning Attila. It actually was, surprisingly. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> it's funny, like, somebody's so, had brought a Nokia with them. Like, I yeah. can't imagine that their phone just stopped working and they threw it. Right. Like, I well, he pro they probably got thrown in the crowd, kicked around a bunch, <laughs> and then the dude was like, oh, hey, there's my phone, it still works. <laughs> right, he's like, oh, shit, fucking my Nokia. fucking, yeah, my potato of a phone, I can't believe it still works. <laughs> uh, Nick Olsen, Warp Tour 2016, saw a guy step into the pit during Chelsea Grin, put brass knuckles on, punch and knock out a random girl, then pick her up and crowd surf her to security. What? Sly maybe he's an assassin. <laughs> no, maybe he's trying to do that whole like 
like si like hero villain thing. Like I'm gonna hurt her, but then I'm gonna save her. So right. Like, she, so like, so like, if nobody know. catches me, knock this bitch out. I'm gonna look like a hero. Yeah, exactly. Or and then I'm gonna get her number. Or he didn't realize he was doing it, right. and he accidentally hit her. Maybe was he like, just oh, really fuck. wanted to go home, and he couldn't get his girlfriend to get out. So <laughs> he just fucking dropped her ass and <laughs> mailed her to the security. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please drop her off at P.O. Box uh, 1292. Uh, Aiden Miller says, someone stood upside down and pooped. Well, I'm, I've been to a few warp tours, and I've never... <laughs> There's a lot of poop. Just walk into a crowd, and she does a handstand, just fucking spreads his legs, and shits all over himself. I, that... I don't know what to say about that. Dude, like, for real, like, I, I mean, if you yeah. saw that, like, ten feet from you, what would you? What would you? I don't. I genuinely don't know if I'd have a reaction for it. You just instantly like, become like a dog. Like, I just start laughing. I think. Like I, what? What yeah, is my only? Like, this is so <laughs> absurd to see some dude. Just, like, oh, it's just naked. Why is this dude doing a handstand? Oh, he's shitting on himself. I feel like there's a lot more drugs at Warp Tour than I initially thought. Dude, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, normal well, people don't really do. Dude, Washington Warp Tour is pretty white bread compared to all these stories. Yeah, for real. Well, except back when it was at the Gorge. When it was at the Gorge, shit was wild. But yeah, stop getting less wild. Giovanni Chandler says, I was at an Attila concert, and when I was in a mosh pit, a dude grabbed my balls and twisted them. Oh. I had fainted and missed the rest of the show. Oh my god. See, this is why I what don't. What the fuck's the. Why? This is why I don't go into mosh pits. Because <laughs> you might get your nuts so I don't want. I don't want my nuts to be fucking turned upside down. Just for no reason, I like to imagine. Some guy is just like you. Yes, right. walks up to him casually, just like there's nothing you can do. Like Mike Myers, he just like walks up, holds this dude to a wall, and just grabs his nuts and starts twisting him around <laughs> until you pass out. And he's like, "Okay, you." Yeah, he just, just the walks nut, up, gets the nut one. twister, right? <laughs> the warp tour nut twister. <laughs> I remember in 2012, man, oh, warp tour nut twister was on the. Uh, Sam Sam says, "I saw some guy force feeding a girl soggy cereal." No joke. Was it the same guy that was trying to eat it in the month? Dude, force feeding somebody cereal sounds like the scariest thing. It's like was she like shoving metal in their mouth and also like a liquid? I imagine she was probably drunk and like this. And, just like, and he's like, "You need to get something." And he had this cereal two hours earlier and was like, "You need to get something in you." Dude, get cereal. Cereal that's been in a bowl for two hours in the middle of warp tour. I mean, that's usually how long I let grape nuts sit before I'd ever eat it. <laughs> grape nuts? Do you remember that shit? Yeah, like, it's like oats in a bowl. <laughs> you know, it was literally like pebbles in a bowl until it sat for half an hour. Then it was like, okay, now it's like oatmeal. Now you can eat it. For real. Tex Lanzalotta says some old dude jacking off in the middle of the bathroom. In the middle of the bathroom? See, that's... I... What, are you gonna justify this one? No, I was just gonna say like that's like fucking so. You, there's literally a there's stalls. You could go into a stall. Yeah, but where's the thrill in that? <laughs> Surrounded by a bunch of kids trying not to catch one of those uh, sexual predator. Wars. I was gonna say that's like instant. Like you're going to jail. Yeah, for real. Yeah, you're. Get, you're Is it worth out. it for no. your little nut? Like not at in all. the middle of a warp tour, disgusting bathroom. I don't think any nut is worth that. <laughs> Seriously. Patrick Pogue, some dude brought an inflatable quick pull raft into the mosh pit, pulled it out, and knocked some rave kid out. I've seen the rafts. That's pretty funny. In mosh pits before. I've never seen an, like, an instant inflate one, though. Because those fucking are. You're like, you pull them yeah. and they just. Yeah, they instantly yeah. inflate. Like, those that are like the sure. hardcore military ones. Yeah, those will like fucking knock your ass out for sure. Like, like that'd be funny. As, like, I actually imagine that he didn't realize how strong it was and this was like crowded. I imagine. Just opened this. and just like just leveled a circle of people. I imagine this rape kid was also 85 pounds. He just fucking. It was just like. He flew into the other stage. He, like, right. he went from Journey's left foot to right foot. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. I don't remember being at the monster stage, but here I am. <laughs> Um, and that's it. That's all we got for you guys today in your Warp Tour stories. Wow. You got any Warp Tour stories here? Um, not particularly. I have like fan interaction stories that are kind of more tame, but mm -hmm. like this one kid that followed me around and kept, he kept about 10 feet distance the entire time. Did he say anything? For the entire day. What? Like, like, he, like you were there. A bunch of homies were there. We would walk, like, Alonji was there. We'd walk to, like, stage to stage. And everywhere I would stop and I'd kind of look around, that fucking kid would be standing there. I'd go somewhere else, that kid would be standing At the very end, he came up and was like, you sign my drumstick? And I was like, sure. And then he walked away. What? Like, it was the weirdest thing. It took him all day to build up the courage. To yeah, ask it, was, it was super, super weird. Damn. Um, what about you? Dude, that's, <laughs> the, the Gorge Warp Tour, the first one I went to, was fucking insane. There yeah. was... There was a porta party that got lit on fire, like right by my tent. I heard there about was, that. Um, I saw this like 
this little emo dude, he was just walking and some like skinhead guy just like ran up just like completely out of nowhere and tackled him and just started like kneeing him in the side. And then he did it for like three seconds and then got up and ran away and uh, the dude who got like kneed a bunch stood up and was like, Jerry, where's my fucking bat? And it was just like, Jesus Christ. Uh -oh. <laughs> like little like 90 pound goth kids about to go grab a bat and chase Jesus. down the skinhead. And the best part of it is that he tackled him into like our neighboring like t campsite and there was uh -huh. just two dudes sitting in lawn chairs just like drinking and they were just like, isn't it? Wow. Like, <laughs> it's just this is the best like, entertainment we've had yeah, all day. They're like commenting on it. They're like, this is pretty crazy, right? <laughs> just yeah, talking right. to each other. Like, they don't give a shit. This dude. Whoa, shit, he's getting his ass beat. That's wild. <laughs> no shit's getting. It's pretty funny. Yeah, that's, uh, <clears throat> I guess that's going to be our last Warped Tour stories. Yeah. Oh, one more, one more. So when I went to that same Warped Tour, on, on our way there, there was some dude with us. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I still to this day don't know who he was. I don't remember his name, but he was with us. He was like a friend of a friend. The first thing he said when we started pulling up to the campsites was, I bet I could beat like every dude's ass that's here. And just for no reason, and he's like this like really fat dude that's like short and it just completely unwarranted oh, just no. said that unironically and seriously nobody addressed him and was like Did he try to fight anybody? No, but he kept talking about it. He's like, man, if that like if I was me that got like jumped by that skin dude, like that dude would have been like in some So he had like, little man syndrome. Yeah, it was really funny to watch though. Interesting. Because he, he looked like a like a bully from uh, Nightmare on Christmas, <laughs> Nightmare yeah. Before Christmas. Um there was another interaction I had when I was trying to watch Beartooth live for mm -hmm. the very first time. And they were, they started their set and this kid walks up to me and starts talking to me and I was like, okay, cool, you know, like, talk to him, took a picture and shit. And then he walked away and then I was just like, okay, Beartooth. And I'm trying to watch him and, and I shit you not, every 12 seconds there was somebody else that oh, came no. up to me. And I was like, okay, you know, like, cool. Like, I, I don't want to be disrespectful, but it's like, I'm trying to watch right. this band, mm -hmm. you know. And then like, I turned around to walk away from this because I had seen right. like two or three more people behind him right. and I turned to walk, around, uh, walk away and there was literally like a 12 person line behind me oh and they God. were just like hey, hey, hey. I was like fuck and I missed Bear Tooth's entire set oh my god I missed their entire set because I was I didn't want to be like bye I'm right. watching this band but like dude that's fucking rough yeah that's that's that's, that's one thing i will address in general is yeah. if there's a band playing yeah give the band the respect give the band the wait. respect to not come up to somebody yeah. in the crowd and like do the picture thing right. like wait in between mm -hmm. or you know catch them at a different time because either they're trying to watch the band or it's disrespectful to the band playing right that's all i'll say but yeah warp tour stories got some good ones sad it's over it had a good run, what, 25 years, 26 years, something like that? Yeah, it's crazy. I'm sure it'll be back. They'll, they'll have some self-help fest style. They'll probably, do, they'll probably have another festival yeah. that will... It'll be like a once-a-year fest, I'm sure, some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, it's come up from that, but... But yeah, rest in cool. peace. It was cool while it was lasted. Bummed I missed Katy Perry that one year. That would have yeah. been, been cool. Yeah. I think, like, fucking everyone's played Warp Tour, dude. Yeah, Eminem Like, Eminem was on it. Fucking Paramore, 303. Uh, 20, I almost said 20 second pilots. <laughs> <laughs> 21 pilots. 10 second songs, 21 pilots. That's 20 second it. pilots. <laughs> 21 pilots. Yeah, everyone's fucking played. Warped 20 Warped. seconds to pilots or whatever they're called. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we will see you all in the next video. Check the links in the description. Come on over to Scragtown, baby. See you later. <laughs>